Hello everybody and welcome. Today this is going to be a little bit of a different video. It's going to be an extensive tier list on Super Auto Pets free to play. I will be going over every single creature in this game, uh, both good and bad, as well as comparing the foods within. So um, th th there's a little bit of a dichotomy between the foods and the animals, but I do believe that they should be in the same tier list since they're competing for the same money. Um, it, you'll be seeing a series of clips strung together by Max, and basically I had like an eight-hour stream just going over the nitty-gritty details of everything. And uh, yeah, I figured I'd just do this little intro so that way it uh, smoothly transitions into the video. So let's go ahead and make our ear list, shall we? Wow. It's time. So, okay. all right. So, um, we're going to start off with the tier one units. And we're, we're probably, we're going to rate by a couple different things. Uh, it's going to be availability, versatility, power level to other creatures in its tier. And um, what else? I, I think those are the main ones. So, like, if a unit doesn't show up very much, we're not going to hold that against it too much. But uh, if a unit shows up a lot and it's not very good and it's clogging the pool, that's bad a little bit quiet yeah synergies we'll talk about as well some of the tier one creatures and we'll go from there i think that ant is like a perfect b tier creature it is uh, it is like solid also we're, we're gonna make some new tiers and we're gonna rename them so we're, we're gonna make an above row and uh this row is going to be called uh too strong uh these are these are units that uh should probably be nerfed and then these are gonna be very strong then we're going to have uh, strong, uh, average. This is perfect average. Uh, weak. Very weak. So th this is how we'll have it for now. And we, we might make more for now. We're, we're going to go ahead and throw beaver in weak. I think beaver is significantly weaker than the ant. Beaver giving uh, plus one, plus one is like acceptable and its scaling is really poor so it, it it pretty much the only time it's good is when you have a dog build active it it definitely goes up in power le level by a, a little bit there um but i i do think that, that it is kind of weak um now the horse is very weak we're gonna throw that all the way down there the horse can admittedly win you some early game situations but that's with a very specific team that scales extremely poorly um and the early game now more than ever matters even less so horse is probably one of the weakest units in the entire game if i were to change it i i would um i would say that it should probably receive uh a little bit of a health buff i think it should be a one two and i also think that it should give a little bit of health to its teammates as it levels up um it could even if you wanted to do it a little bit differently, you could make it so it gives a permanent attack bonus to the units as it levels up. So it would have one uh, soft attack boost and one hard attack boost. So uh, basically you could have some semi-permanent buffs from the horse, but it would also still maintain that like significant boost, which is what the horse is all about. The, the horse is all about granting um like a, a nice little damage boost to all of your units it's an early game turkey it should perma buff like turkey i don't think i think that might be too strong but that would be an interesting one too there's a couple different ways that they could handle horse i think that like in terms of scaling that would be pretty interesting that, that's not a bad idea uh horse should be two one uh and give plus one plus one yeah there's there's a bunch of ways they could change horse but i do think that horse is too weak in the current meta um, I think if it gave like plus one plus one permanent, that would be busted as hell because that would just be duck, but with less steps. This, well, no, it's not. It's it's a different sort of situation, but it would be scary. It would be very scary. Been seeing less and less horse cricket builds uh, lately in early game. That's because you don't need to win early anymore. I hope they don't buff horse summoning builds are very annoying. They are annoying. Suboptimal. You're not wrong. I I love having my big meaty units. Um, cricket is in the. I, I, I think that Cricket is in between the weak tier and the very weak tier. Um, so we're, we're going to make a tier in, in between that. So we're going to add a row below. And we're going to call this the 
pretty weak tier. Uh, the, the reason that we're putting the uh, cricket in between the beaver and the horse is because the cricket is actually like pretty acceptable um, with like a couple of different builds. You can, you can do some pill engines with it. Um, it, it has like a couple things where it, like it, it, it can be useful and it wins early rounds fairly well. It's all right. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll rename these. So this will be pretty weak. And this can be just weak. Um, and I, I will throw a unit up there for now that I do think is too strong. And that's the rooster. Um, tier four is loaded with really, really strong animals. But I don't think that, that I think there's only one other animal that rivals the scaling of the rooster, and that's the leopard. Um, and and th this is like the unit to scale, as far as I'm concerned. It's very, very good. Um, obviously, it doesn't synergize too well with the monkey, which does like drop its power level by a little bit. And they share the same tier. Uh, tier four is very, very competitive in that way. Um, but yeah, th this is very strong. It's a very, very strong. Uh, do you consider the turn at which the units appear in, or just the general strength? So we're going by, uh, versatility, availability, and uh, general power level, Sand Observer. So if a unit, if a unit appears later, we're not going to hold it against it. And if a unit appears early, it will be rated lower because it will probably have a, an impact on your rolls. Like, if, if a unit is not, like, super good, and it's like a tier one unit, it's automatically going to be lower on the tier list because it's not very strong they don't scale well and that's a problem um but that said uh if, if we want to talk about tier one units to scale otter is definitely very strong otter is an extremely strong unit um it, it just scales super duper well it's got really difficult competition in the form of the duck i think if the duck didn't exist the otter would be the best unit in uh in tier one by like a, a huge margin uh would have been strong uh, be because we've got to have more space like it is it is a strong unit but it's, it's got very good competition as well that that's the thing zazu um the the duck is maybe too strong it's super close to too strong it might be too strong um th this one could go in either one of these tiers i'm not sure yet the duck is absurd uh, because of how powerful the duck is, and these two are sharing the same tier, there are there are two ways to play the early game. You play duck or you play otter. Um, and th this, is, this is a very, very strong unit. Um, and I, I will put it in too strong for now. I, I think it might be too strong. I, I think that um, it's, it's just very, very good. We'll place tiger later. We'll place tiger. Tiger is great, but we're, we're not talking about tiger right now. So... Keep in mind that these units are going to be affecting your um, your rolls all game long. The duck is really, really, really strong in those first, like, three or four turns. After that, it's like a pretty dead draw. Otter can stay useful and stay on your board all game long and just give uh, give out, like, some nice plus two, plus twos and be a body. And it, th think about it this way. The otter is a plus three, plus three. Think about how many times you're buying a pair. I, I wish I could have fruit on this list, by the way. I would love to rank fruit as well. Uh, or uh, foods, rather. Because um, I think that's an interesting little conundrum as well. I, th I think that the, you would have to fight against animals for that as well. Because that's what you do. Your your money is either going toward food or animals. It can't be both. There's a, a fruit tier list. Wait, is this... Um, does this have pets and fruit? It does have pets and fruit. Okay, perfect. So I'll, I'll swap over to this then. There we go. Okay. So I think that we're back on track with this. And I'm going to zoom this in and get in. Duck is overpowered because of the um, the change in health system. That is uh, that is 100% the case. If the health system were the old way, I do think that Otter was still better. Some bad food. Okay. So let's talk about Apple. If you grab an Apple, you are, like, losing so much. You lose three rolls you lose a potential level up, the apple will put you more far behind than just about anything in the entire game. If you roll an apple, fucking sucks. Like, it, 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 you have two slots. It's so bad. You do not want to run into the apple at all. Rabbit apple isn't that bad. That's the one play that the apple has for anything suboptimal. That is the sole play that it has, uh, I would say. 
There's exactly one context in which I buy an apple, and that's to make a scorpion one, one attack for sure. Okay, so we got badger. Badger is a strong unit. I'm going to put that in strong, and I will put it above the otter. Uh, apple only stream win. That would be so bad. Be incredibly bad. All right, so badger is a very strong unit. I think it can force a lot of draws. I think it cr has a lot of creativity and not very many people play around it. Um, it is very, very effective in uh, quite a few ways. Uh, I, th I think it could go into very strong even, but we're just going to keep it at strong for now because, um, you know, I might buy an otter over it. We've got our rooster in too strong. That is very fair. I think uh, with the display that we just put on with monkey, monkey should also be in too strong. I think the tier, the tier 4 units are incredible. Uh, Tiger is S tier. It makes a few other uh, others broken OP. That, that's true. We'll, we'll talk about it when we get there, Neo, okay? Uh, so yeah, the monkey, very, 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 very good. I think it's even better than the duck. Um, the early game is not too important. There's lots of ways to play around the early game. Uh, obviously, the duck is like the best way, I think. And that, that's shown in the in-houses. Um, but the monkey is just like plus two, plus two every turn. It's a decent sized body. It's not like gonna insta die like the penguin and not do anything. Um, and, and you can stack them like you saw there. You get a whole bunch of them and just absolute insanity ensues. It's a very, very strong unit. So yeah, monkey, very good. In fact, so good it is too strong. How would I nerf the monkey? I don't know. I, I don't know if there's a good way to nerf it. <laughs> Maybe start it off at a... I don't know. Nerf the monkey by making it a higher tier. If it's in the same tier as cow, it's garbage, though. That's the thing. Is like, cow is very, very strong also. I, th I think cow is actually in very strong, in fact. Um, it's definitely not too strong. But it gives you some really nice synergies with the cat. Um, it's only like a one-slot sacrifice for scaling... And there's a dearth of good five tier units. The the tier five units, like they're they're good. They're okay. The turkey is the turkey is a great unit. Turkey is a great unit. Rhino, if it scales, is great, but it's already too late a lot of the time. By the time you get to tier five, it's way too late to, to go rhino. It's a it's a very special case for rhino. Seal is I don't know, I've like I've experimented a little bit. It doesn't feel good. Like, you're trying desperately... At, by the point you've got seal, you're trying desperately to be, like, feeding your units. Uh, like, not feeding your units levels, not food. Rhino is weak IMO. I agree. I think that Rhino is great if you... If it, if you get a 50-50 watermelon Rhino that's, like, level 3 by, and it's, like, a tiger behind it, it, it'll sweep the whole team, sure. But, like, you could have just had a leopard. Right? There's so many other units that'd be good. Rhino is only good because every team has a level two rooster. Even then, like rooster gets kind of rooster can slap a, a a rhino down if it's got good stats. How you doing, Ellie? Little, welcome on in. We are doing a tier list currently. Um, but yeah, the tier five units. I mean, we got the the shark. Shark's uh, like probably one of the most underwhelming units in the entire game. Um, I, I think I've maybe grabbed it like one time ever. If you have a 50-50 Rhino, the other team might uh, also have a 50-50 and it'll be useless. That's true, Sand Observer. You're totally right. Like I said, the only time it's good is like... It, it, it beats Zoo extremely hard, but it doesn't do much else. Dodo, Parrot, Crab, Fish. Oh yeah, so we got... Um, that is true. We got the, the Parrot. Parrot's kind of sweet. They nerfed it um, really hard recently, which sucks. I don't know. It, I guess it wasn't a nerf, it's just a change. But I think it is a nerf overall. Um, because just making a parrot a monkey is, like, not bad. It's pretty good. Parrot is, like, the kind of unit where it, it theoretically could be amazing. But when you try to slot it in, it's like, oh shit, this messes with my synergies really bad. And it's just kind of a lower stat unit. So it's it's kind of difficult. I like Rhino, tier 5 is the, the counter build tier. I guess to an extent. Anyway, let's go back to actually, like, tiering our units. So... I, I was talking about how Cow is a strong tier 5. It, it is probably the most versatile tier 5 in the entire game. It's a, it, Basically, it is one of those units, when you see it, you grab it. It's just that good. And uh, it can become even better than that 
and it, just overall it's a very strong value unit it's got decent base stats as well to boot so it's pretty okay i i think i think it's easily uh very strong um pig pig is a really weird one for me so i thought pig for a long time would belong right next to the beaver in, in like low tier i didn't think it's very good i still am very skeptical of it um, but I do see its synergies with the duck, which inherently does power it up at least a little bit. I think average is a fair place to put the pig, and I will put it ab above the ant as well. Um, ant wins you early game rounds. Pig gets you some nice pivots later. So I, I think we'll put pig in average. That, that seems like a very good place. Sand Observer agreeing. I disagree with Cow. Uh should drop one level it's a disposable one-off uh, thus requires constantly freeing up a slot i will sell a tiger for a cow like the the, the amount of things i'll do for a cow it, it there's the, the cow is really good <laughs> the cow is like that's a lot of stats and if we're, if we're talking like a cat on the board cat's one of the best scaling units it's strong it's very strong I'm going to grab the bison because we were just talking about the monkey. So the bison gets plus two, plus two for a tier three unit on the board. It's got six, six base stats. The monkey comparatively has uh, three, three and gives plus two, plus two. So if you bought a monkey on the same turn that you could buy an er earliest bison versus earliest monkey, think about it this way. An earliest monkey is a plus five plus five and this is a, a plus six plus six um assuming you don't have a tier three so like yeah exactly tier three is is very very rare that early we, we had it the one time and it was it was pretty okay but even then like i kind of wanted to get rid of it for something else because it's just going to be a 50 50 at the end of the day um so it doesn't have very good scaling potential in the end game bison is a little bit of a power spike if i buy monkey i may lose the round uh, if i trigger bison i'm uh, sure i'm competitive that's true um if, if you get like a tier three fish or like a tier three uh swan or something like that because you're you're going really hard for that one unit for whatever reason uh it, it can be nice but I, I think that it's it's a bit of a trap as well if you have a tier three unit then that means that unit isn't scaling anymore and um this unit get here think about it this way you are using up two slots for a plus two plus two every turn and um it's it's very inflexible it is nice to have a flat like flat bonus unit in the game so like for example crab is a really good example of like a unit that was considered garbage for a long time and then became a meta definer and uh, the the reason why crab ended up like that is because people realized that for three gold they could have like a a 529 or something like that right because they they canned it once right um and that that's just like a nice little pivot to have on the board um but i i, I don't think that bison is the same kind of pivot because you're holding on to these units that are um just kind of stagnating your build so I, I do think that it is like a little bit of a weaker unit. Um, average could be fair. I, I think that if we're talking pay to win, this is a significantly stronger unit because of its synergies with um, uh, the butterfly, for sure. Like it's a very much better unit there, like significantly so. But I don't think that it has the same synergies in the in the free to play package. Um, so I will put it in pretty weak and i'm gonna leave it there you guys might disagree a little bit but that is my take let's talk about salad i think salad's like pretty okay for tier three but i also think that for tier three you're trying so desperately to get tier four units i i think tier four is like a, a very crazy time in the game it's it's one of the most chaotic times in the entire game because there's so many different strategies you can go for a plus two plus two is good that is good um but an untargeted plus one plus one is hard to, to sell because you're you're pivoting your team a ton. Um, it, it does scale very well with Rabbit. It's it's significantly better than an Apple at that point. Like it, it's if if you're getting a, a plus two plus four, that's kind of juicy. You get two rabbits on board, things are 
going to like kind of pop off a little bit. You'll, you'll get some nice HP units. So it's not bad. It's got a synergy. Um, salad is too good for tier two, not good enough for tier three. That That's a very fair uh, a way of putting it, Pelgrin. Usually tier three, you need uh, stats on a specific animal. That That is also true. You generally only got like one animal locked in by that point in the build. I, I think that the salad is maybe being a little bit underrated. Uh, I, I think that uh, like top of pretty weak is fair. I think it's okay. Uh, there, there are times where I've had salad be really helpful. But um, keep in mind that it is a tier 3 food. Oh, man. So it's a tier 3 food. Let's talk about what a tier 3 food means. You're up against garlic. You're up, ag up against freaking garlic armor. If you're a tier 3 food, if I'm looking for a garlic and I get a, a, a salad, I'm pissed. Like, I am super pissed. All right, you're, you're dropping down to, like, top a week. How about that? That sounds fair. Garlic armor is is strong. Garlic armor can win you rounds. Garlic became really bad with duck meta. So you're not wrong. But I don't think everybody's doing duck meta yet. Not everybody is doing duck meta. I love how is saying anything about this game makes you sound like an insane person for sure. Pelgrin. So here's the thing about garlic armor. Here's the thing about this tier list. This tier list is not for versus. This is not a versus tier list. This is a general tier list. Garlic is really, really good. Um, it, it just... It, it, it can get you so many positive traits. I think garlic armor, at, like, at points, can be better than melon armor. Um, and melon armor is obviously one of the best effects in the entire game. So, Garlic Armor deserves a strong spot. It is very, very, very strong. Um, yeah, like, it, sure, it, if in a worst-case scenario, it's maybe plus two health. But in a best-case scenario, your big unit just sweeps an entire team. It's crazy. Like, you get a lot of value out of Garlic Armor against the specific builds. Dog, here we go. Dog, <laughs> Dog is a is an absolute powerhouse dog very much deserves to be in, in very strong it is a build defining unit it is a unit that um scales on its own it's a it's a unit that allows very creative play it's really really potent in like quite a few different builds it's very very strong and um there, there you can play dog as like a um I, i'm not gonna say you can play dog in a summon build you can't it, don't play don't play dog in a summon build that's stupid don't do that um but but uh if, if you're playing like you, you don't have to scale the dog too hard here's the thing you, you can play that dog like a, a middle range you yeah you can play dog all the way till end game if you want you, you you'll end up with like a 20 20 and you did very little Dog is the only unit uh, that scales at all in tier two. Yeah, do dog is incredible. Dog is very good. Is dog better than than uh, cow? I don't know. I mean, you, you got to keep in mind that, um, that there's times where it's not that good. Swan has better base stats than dog. We'll talk about Swan too. Swan is a great unit. Swan is a very good unit, but it's a good unit for different reasons from the dog. Um, okay, so let's talk about the fish next. Fish is a nice unit. I really, really liked Fish. Fish was probably my favorite unit when I was uh, newer to this game. I, I mean, it's a 2-3. It's the biggest beat stick you can get for turn one. It wins It wins you turn one, for sure. Um, is it as good as an otter? No, I don't think so. Does, does it scale very well? It's okay. You can hold on to it for quite a while, and it's an all right beat stick. Um, I, I think it's high average. It's, it's high average. Yeah, so here's the thing. It's like your turn one, your turn two, your turn three, you're losing like one life, maybe two life by turn three. Like, who cares? Who cares? It doesn't matter if you're winning uh, that. And the plus one, plus one, it's missing a lot of units. That sounds like a good amount of stats, but most of those units that are getting that buff aren't going to actually get the... Uh... And so generally, let's talk about the first level up of a fish. It's on uh, tier two which means you get a tier three unit that misses the plus one, plus one. And maybe you've got one unit on that board that you want to hold on to. It, it just tends to not be very good. 
So it, it misses its targets, and um, it, it, it just has good stats. It is a good stat beat stick creature, and I'm going to actually put it under pig, because losing the early game doesn't matter anymore. So we, we will... It, it's definitely slightly better than ant, but it is probably not better than pig. And uh, otter is definitely on another level from it because of how it scales. It scales very differently from the the fish, and it can help you make some very large units that can combat the, the duff units, potentially. So, it, I, I do think that Otter deserves a, a much higher spot, and uh, the fish can stay down here for now. Alright, let's grab Mosquito, because we'll, we'll just wrap up the, the tier 1s, get, get them out of the way. Mosquito is another unit very similar to fish, where it's, like, fairly strong, but um, it's, it's a combat effect that you that can actively harm you uh, once you get into tier 2. If you snipe a spider, for example, and like a, a bison or a kangaroo comes out of that spider, um, you're kind of screwed if that's in like a middle range. You, you just lost yourself the round. Mosquito is amazing in those first three rounds, but we just talked about how like useless that is. It, it's, it doesn't help. It doesn't help anymore. It's It doesn't cut it. And th this unit actively harms your build uh, past a certain point. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and throw throw him in pretty weak. I like Mosquito a lot. Mosquito is amazing. Um, when it was about winning those early rounds, it's less good now. So I'm I'm gonna go ahead and put it in pretty weak. And I I think it's uh, still above Bison in terms of power level, and it it might be teetering on average as well. So let's grab another one. Um, you know what? Let's talk about Snail. Snail is a, an interesting unit. It's a tier three which is actually a really awkward level to try and roll for, especially in the current meta where, um, like, Tier 2s actively dilute your chances of getting a, a Tier 3. Um, and snails are best together. Getting a single snail hurts a lot. Um, but I do think snail is, like, the only counterplay to duck. Snail is the only counterplay to duck. So if you want to do, like, an otter build, for example, if you don't start freezing snails, you're going to struggle. Uh, snail is a bit of a trap unit. There's been many times where I've frozen a few too many snails, and it's, like, hurt me real bad. Um, but I, I do think that it's a really, really good unit. I, I think that it probably deserves a, a very strong spot just because of how crazy... It, like, it, in the old meta, if I grabbed, like, three snails... And I lost, like, turn five or six. It's just over. It's over. Like, they never, ever catch up. Uh, since you have a lot of health early, it's more forgiving to lose and buy snails. Yes, for, for sure, Sand Observer. I, th I think snail is good. Last versus lobby, alias... Uh, wait, last versus an alias lobby, I uh, froze four snails and lost because I kept winning. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm talking about. After a certain point, you have to stop freezing your snails. Um, and I, I don't know exactly when that is, probably around uh, when Tier 4 becomes available. But I do think that Snail is a very, very skill-heavy unit, and it can kind of conquer Duck meta if you do it right. Uh, what if it's exactly uh, turn 5, and you have 5 Ducks, and you get a Snail? What do you do? Uh, you, you freeze the Snail, and then you roll. And then you, you get even more free stats day. Like that... Free stats? I mean, I guess you, you don't even have to freeze it. You could just roll it. Like, just get a couple tier twos like it, it does suck to, to have that situation but I don't think it's the end of the world in fact you know what it's actually so good to get a big snail that, that's you you lean into that you hold on to that snail and you just level it up and the next time you lose you will have an even gianter snail if you get like a tier three snail do you know how fucking broken the stat bonuses are that on that are on that? Like it gets crazy. I I think that you could lean into that. It would it would be a positive thing. There, there's some meta gaming you can do there, Tay. Uh, you won't have to sacrifice your team numbers. Either you have uh, three beefy ones or like two great. Ones. Uh, plus six, plus three for four animals. Yeah, that that's really good. Get you a plus twenty four, plus twelve. Yeah. I mean that that's that's nutty. That's nutty. Oh, what are we going to go for next? Let's talk about Turtle. I like Turtle. Tur Turtle is a really good unit. Um, 
So turtle turtle gets you in, in the early game. Hang on, I'm setting the turtle down for a moment. Turtle gets you uh, like a double attack in the early game. Turtle gets you the earliest possible melon armor you can get. If we're if we're playing into pay to play, then it is the only cleanse in the entire game for uh, bats, which are a scary unit. Uh, yeah, turtle pill is incredible. Turtle pill is really, really, really good. Th this unit uh, j just like completely flips a team on its head. It can win you around uh, against a team that you have no business winning against. Um, Melon armor is very, very exceptional and uh, works in many, many builds. I think that turtle is uh, maybe not quite as good as dog, but it is better than snail. It's, it's super strong. Turtle is great. Uh, uh, yeah, and, and in duck meta, that's a good point. Uh, so garlic armor is a little bit less powerful, and that makes the the melon armor even more powerful. If you're dealing with a bunch of high attack monsters or, or creatures, rather, then you're going to want that melon armor. Um, it, it it just gets you a two for one, right? And if you put a meat on it, then it... but here's the thing about the two for one: the the unit itself doesn't trade very well most of the time, so it, it isn't a two for one. It's a two for two. But a two for two is a good thing, especially when you've got like a strong unit that you're giving. The, the stats do, right? But yeah. Um, tur turtle good. It, it's just a strong unit. Alright, well, since we're talking about turtle and we're talking about pills, let's talk about the pill next. The pill is the most versatile food in the game. It allows for a lot of creativity. It's the only thing in the game that costs one other than the reroll itself. It is very, very strong. Um, how strong is it? What units would you want to pill? Um, I mean, you can pill the, the sheep to get your dog scaling. You can pill in front of the ox to get some stats. You can pill the, uh, the, the whatever this pink bird is to, to get a plus two, plus two or more. Uh, you can pill your mammoth and, like, do mu mushroom pill spam and, like, crazy shit like that. Very, very crazy. Like, it, it works all game long. This is one of the only foods in the entire game that is always good. There is always a play with the pill uh you can pill a turtle yeah th there you go pill pill is very very strong i'm gonna put it above the cow and above the dog pill enables more builds and more synergies than just about anything else in the game it's really really strong and uh i was so afraid of it when i was brand new it's it's, it's a weird item kill your own animal that's spooky but it's great it's really good and um yeah, it's, it's just fun. It's fun. It's a, it's a good food. I, I think that uh, out of all the foods, it is probably the most interesting to interact with. Let's see. We're, we're going to grab a weird one. Let's grab the crocodile. Crocodile is a, is a weird animal. It deals 7 damage to the backline unit. And uh, that scales up to 14. Then I don't remember what the tier 3 is on croc, honestly. I don't know if I've ever had a tier 3 croc. It's got low health, high attack. It uh, is prone to being sniped by things like Dolphin. And Dolphin is a tier lower than it, which is noteworthy. Um, I think that, like, full sniper team builds are disgusting. If you have, like, Skunk... Uh, if you have Tiger Skunk, Dolphin, uh, Croc, and then, like, a, a Rooster with, with, like, some okay stats, you will absolutely crush every team. Uh, I've, I have had a bunch of different runs where I've just gone full sniper squad. It's disgusting. You get some really, really nice results. However, I think that Crocodile is maybe the most replaceable out of all of these units. How did you figure out uh, how to play this game? I just played it a lot, Luminite Shard. Like, a lot. <laughs> that That's how I figured it out. I've, I have, like, 100 hours. Um... Remember when Badger two for ones? Yeah, so I, I guess that is good. It, it does snipe Badgers, which is great. That's a that's a really good point. Um, but I, I I don't think that you can play around that, right? Like that that's a that's one situation. Um, Croc is a tier five unit, which means that it's sharing with like the least competitive tier in the entire game. Uh, all the tier five units are like pretty whatever. Some of them are better than others, obviously. We got the cow and the turkey. But, um... Uh... It, it's, it's okay for sniping turkeys. It's okay for sniping tigers. It's okay for sniping whatever. 
but like mushrooms beat it. It hits some nice back rows sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't hit anything. It has a very strong chance of hitting nothing. The dolphin is always going to hit something valuable. Sometimes it'll just kill things. Yeah, so like dolphin is like just better crocodile. Like 100%. Um, have fun sniping the penguin. I mean, how many penguins do you see? Honestly, not that many. Uh, you can hit the fly. Yeah, so sometimes it'll hit a fly. But like, fly, are fly builds that scary? I don't think so. I don't think flies are that scary. Uh, it, mushroom counters this creature entirely. Mushroom just beats this creature. Um, I'm gonna put it in average. What? Okay, there we go. I'm gonna put it in average. It is okay. So, uh, since we mentioned mushroom, let's talk about mushroom next. Mushroom is a very, very interesting food. It only appears at the very end of the game, which means it's really not clogging up the, uh, the, the field too much. Um, which is a benefit, I would say. If, if a food only appears for a little while, that's not a bad thing. That's probably a good thing. Um, and because of that, it, it by default is very strong. Uh, so Sand Observer says mushroom is very slash too strong. Mushroom, uh, so here's, so let me talk about some mushroom combos. Mushroom rooster, tier three. A and you get a turkey, you're gonna have like just absurd levels of roosters and they're all gonna be incredibly powerful. Uh, mushroom sheep it takes the sheep from a shit unit to a great unit mushroom mammoth is my personal favorite i use it all the time um it, ta it takes a, a single unit and becomes incredible out of nowhere it's very very good uh mushroom does only have specific uses you're right but um th those uses are game changing it, it it's a very potent food and uh, considering how little time it uh, appears for, that is a positive that it appears for very little time. I, I think that it is at the very top of very strong. Like, it, it, it is super, you know, it's a little bit specific. I'm going to put it under cow. I'll put it under cow. It's very, very strong. But it's, it's not too strong. It just makes a bunch of builds pop. Builds that wouldn't normally exist, exist because of mushroom. All right, now we're going to talk about a, a, a weak unit. We're going to talk about the shark. The shark is a weirdo. You can scale it with a bunch of pills, but it's quite bad. Um, it, It's okay in summon builds. If I see a shark, I will almost never take a shark. I think shark is like one of the worst beat sticks in the entire game. I think it is maybe the absolute worst beat stick in the entire game. I think it's so bad. It might be horse levels of bad. It is very, 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 very bad. It is incredibly weak. Um, I, I would rather have just about any other animal than a shark. Shark Calling shark mediocre is unfair. It is so bad. It, it is just like very unplayable. It's somehow worse than cricket. It is somehow worse than cricket. That's how bad shark is. It is worse than a cricket. It is worse than a salad. <laughs> Just think about that. Cricket has more uses than a shark. I, I should probably acknowledge my own bias against the shark. And uh, for, the, for the greater good of this tier list being better, I will put it in pretty weak, okay? Or pretty weak or weak? What do you think? I, I, I want to compromise with you all. If you think it's bad, like, it, here, here's the thing. I think it is one of the worst units in the entire game. If you think it's just bad, then we should move it up just a little bit. All right, we will, we will put it at the bottom of weak. Though. That sounds fair. And I got to leave room for cat, too. Cat is incredible. So let's talk about cat. Cat can literally make your whole shop 50-50s if you play it well. Um, cat is a unit that can do all sorts of crazy stuff. Cat is better than Mo. Cat is amazing. Yeah, Cat is easily too strong. I, I can agree on that. Um, so, Cat Cow, you just get a 50 50 in like three turns, which is stupid. Like, doesn't matter what it is. Um, focus scaling is better than uh, like spread scaling for sure. Uh, just consider Cat Can. So, I've had like level two Cat, level one Cat, and I just bought like four or five cans, and everything was like 40 40s in my shop, and I just won. <laughs> like, I, I just won right there. It's just over. 
So yeah, cat is really stupid. Um, I'll put I'll put it above monkey even. Cat is really 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 good. If you see a cat, it you don't. If you see a cat, you don't take a cat. In fact, because of that, I'm gonna put, I'm I'm gonna put it below monkey because if you see a monkey, you take a monkey. Um, obviously it becomes less good once cat and these better scaling units become available. But I think that mid game power spike that you get is too strong. Uh, the mid game power spike of a monkey is too powerful. Um, the power spike of a cat is often, uh, like, it's it's really good, and it's huge. Much stronger than the monkey, but I think the monkey's gonna get you more wins. You'll get, like, three, you'll get your last three wins because of your cat. You will get, like, five wins because of your monkey. Alright, dragon. Dragon is very strong to too strong. It's, it's an extremely good unit. You, you buy me, sell me meta. It's brain dead, it's easy, it's hard to mess up. I think that it is above monkey. It is a very good unit. If you get it early, it you just win. You just win. Um, it does have the problem where it's like pretty hard to pivot your units at that point, but I think that it's it's fairly strong. It's hard to level up your units when you have a dragon. That seems high. You think so, suboptimal? Did I continue to, to just slow roll this so I can think about it more? Hang on. I'm, I'm going to throw that back down there and we'll we'll think about it. Where do I put the dragon? I mean, dragon is really good. Is dragon better than a dog? Double dragon means you have uh, two other units uh, of choice. Yeah, that, that's that's hard to work with. Yeah, I don't think dragon is better than a dog. Cry doesn't think better, dragon's better than a dog. Uh, tiger rooster. Yeah, tiger rooster is, is hilarious. But, like... You could just have a cat to get your your rooster maxed. You don't need a dragon for that. Because you just get plus six, plus six off of your uh, your other stuff, right? Yeah, I, I think dragon's really good, but I, I do think that it loses in some super endgame situations. It, it's very, very, very strong. Um, it deserves very strong at the very least. Dog is better than dragon. Dog, is, it, for where it is in the game, dog is incredible. Dog is very, very good. We'll, we'll put Dragon right here. Dog is so much value for how early you get it, for sure. Hard to compare Tier 2 Dog to a tier, with a Tier 6 Dragon, for sure. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll throw the, the Dragon in very strong. I think that's fair. Um, we, we can always like come back and adjust this later. Pizza, it's a pretty whatever food. It's okay. Uh, we're we're going to put it at the bottom of strong. We might move it. Um, it, it's, it's plus four, plus four. It's better with the cat. It's not bad. Just lost to ice. Oh my goodness. Words. Yeah, I, you, your clone beat me real bad. Um, so yeah, pizza, it's, it's what Epskis. It's, it's like the, the salad of the tier six world. It's, it's pretty okay, but it's, uh, no, that's not fair. Salad is bad. Pizza is fine. Pizza is like just okay. It is, it has its synergies. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, Turkey, that is a strong unit. It gets it's, it it gets to go into very strong. It uh, enables so many creatures to be good. It is it is single handedly propping up the entire zoo meta or the entire summoning meta by itself. Uh, without Turkey, the summon meta is dead. Uh, it is very very important and it has very good synergies. Turkey, yeah, Turkey doesn't even need to be just for turkey doesn't even need to be just for a summoning build you can use it to just get plus three plus three on your units which is really nice uh would i put it higher than a snail maybe i think i would put it higher than a snail that's fine that's fair i, I just placed it in the tier i wanted it to be on let's uh, let's talk about kangaroo kangaroo is like one of my my favorite units um it's just really good if you get it uh, on tier two it, as your roll, you just win. Uh, we just had like a giant lightning strike happen. It's fun. Uh, yeah, Rue is good. It, it's it's like better crap. Is literally better crap. It, it carries you through mid game absolutely. It, it's good behind a summon unit. It's good behind a like just a, a big unit. It, it's very very good in a variety of situations, and it scales up decently as well. I think that it is probably at least as good as Badger. Uh, so it is it is a strong unit. I just like uh, Kangaroo because I never get it at the right time, and it just gets one shot. 
Uh, Kangaroo is so good in mid game. Yeah, Kangaroo is a very good mid game, like very huge mid game power spike, but he does fall off a little bit. Um, well, significantly in the late game. If he only gets like one or two attacks, it sucks. But um, it's like if you have one big unit, you get to have two big units for the price of one in the early game, which is amazing. It's very good. Let's go ahead and talk about uh, Scorpion. Scorpion's really cool. Scorpion has a bunch of really interesting effects. If you get him up to um, anywhere over 20, then he will break through melon armor and instantly kill, uh, which is incredible. So very, very spicy. <laughs> How good is it? I think it's strong. Scor Scorpion is, is cool. Uh, I, I think if we're talking versus mode, it's hilarious. Um, but if we're talking arena, which is what we are talking, it, it's, it is hit or miss. You're right, Sand Observer. I think if we're talking about a 1-1, one, one, it's scary. But if we're talking about a high-level Scorpion, it's very, very strong. Uh, tier 5 is, once again, one of those uh, tiers where the units are, like, not all very good. Like, I would say half of them are pretty bad. Um... So it's it's a blessing to see this come out when you, you're on tier 4 and you roll a tier 5. It's very, very good. Um, yeah, it, it just eats stuff. I, I think it's probably worse than a Badger, but it's definitely better than a Kangaroo. And the thing about uh, Big Scorpion is that it still loses the Scorpion of any size. So, yeah, that's a meme. We'll grab Leopard, because Leopard's an easy one. Leopard is has got to be like right here. <laughs> I, I think Leopard is insane. Well, here's the thing. Le if Leopard's, like, unscaled, I think this might be too high. I think if Leopard is unscaled, it's kind of not that good. Like, if, if it's a level 1, if it's got, like, 10 attack, it's kind of garbage. Um, but at its peak potential, it's really, really strong. Um, it, it just straight up one-shots entire boards. It, and, uh, yeah, if you give it a Tiger, it's just hilarious. Uh, I think it is strong, but you have to level. I'm actually going to drop it down. Um, we're we're going to drop it to um, just above dragon, but below dog. Uh, it Yeah, it, it shouldn't be in too strong. It, it, in its ideal form, it is the best unit in the game, possibly. But uh, it, it's not always in that form. So we got to account for that. All right, we're going to grab Giraffe. Giraffe is a really cool unit because it's... Um, tier, tier 3 is just kind of a rough tier sometimes. And uh, it's a 1-3 that gives plus 1, plus 1. It's obviously significantly worse than a lot of units. But it is such a nice unit when you're just trying to, like, scale up. It's a very comfy unit. It doesn't help you win the round, but it helps you win the long run very easily. Um, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I, I like Giraffe a pretty good amount. I think that um, Otter is still better than it, but um, it, it deserves a spot next to Otter. Yeah, it, it's it's strong. It's average. It doesn't last long normally, I guess, but I, I find myself not wanting a lot of Tier 3 units. So here's the thing. We, we've got... What have we got for Tier 3? We've got Camel. We've got Ox. Uh, Ox, is a, Ox is a Tier 3, yeah. Ox is good, but, like, kind of specific. And what else have we got? We got Pufferfish. But her builds are dead. These two units are dead weight most of the time. Uh, even though you saw me use a camel before, it was just kind of... I had to. Uh, draft hard enables Badger, uh, front Badger early. Yeah, that's the thing, is it, it does enable, like, certain builds. Um, yeah, I, I like the Giraffe. I think Giraffe is good. Uh, so, Squirrel. Squirrel is uh, just an absolute shitter of a unit. You can just kind of re-roll for, um, for advantage. And you get pretty much the same bonus you would if you were to uh, buy the squirrel. So here's the thing. Two gold for seven food versus three re-rolls, which is six food. Um, squirrel might need its own tier. It's really bad. The only thing you could possibly argue for it is it's like, oh, I want chocolate really bad this round. Squirrel is good for late game. Uh, chocolate when running dry. Exactly. The, the chocolate round is where it comes into play. Or maybe even a can round. But I, I think you're better off just rolling. Squirrel needs some free food with its effect. I think it should reduce the cost of um, the food for, like, 
the the next turn for, by like one or something. That would be good. But I, I agree, Moisten. That's a that's a good idea. It needs a buff. Uh, how often do you guys wait? How often do you need to use Squirrel? Like oh, never, never. You never need to use Squirrel. Um, I think I think Squirrel is above Apple, but below Bruh. us. Um, well, we just played with Dodo. Dodo got massively nerfed when it got changed. And uh, I think it was too strong very easily before, but it still has really good really good tempo. I think it's a very strong unit. Um, it, it is definitely very strong. Is it better than Snail? Yes. Uh, is it better than Turkey? Probably not. So I'm, I'm going to throw it in very strong and feel pretty happy about this placement. It's a good unit. How is it nerfed? It used to give... Uh, one unit ahead, two units ahead, and three units ahead, whatever its attack was. So if you had a 50-50 dodo, it would give out 50-50 to three units rather than just giving, like, a, a multiplier buff onto the unit in front of it. So it was, like, stupid before. Because <laughs> it's just like, oh yeah, you just put all your stats on this one unit, and then all your units have 50 attack. And it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the shit were they thinking? Let's talk about uh, Ox really quick. I'm a big fan of Ox. Ox has some pretty cool plays. It synergizes well with Pill. It works well with Ant. Um, it works well with Flamingo. It works well with Dog. It has like a lot of really nice synergies. Um, and it shows up at like a really good time. I think it's better than Kangaroo. Better than Scorpion. And uh, maybe not quite as good as Badger. Badger is a very good unit. Um, it's it, Ox is a strong unit. Um, it can carry you the whole game long, and it ha it's got the added benefit of being the only unit in the game that can have um, melon armor after um, like a barrage from like a, a, a leopard, for example. Like it, it will re retrieve its melon armor after like a, an event like that, which is really really valuable and something that doesn't get talked about very often. Um, also, free melon armor is great. Like it, it's it's a good unit. It trades two for one early, and it scales well into late. Um, sometimes it struggles in late, but like, it's, it's good. It's very good. Um, Can. We're gonna talk about Can really quick. Can is a weird, weird one. Um, if you're super ahead on tier 4, I, I loved Can for a long time. Um, but the more I've played, the more I've realized that every time I take a Can, I could have, like, rolled for a, a monkey. Where's Sloth? Sloth is not on this list because whoever made this tier list is a freaking jabroni, and they should have remember to put on melon and sloth just kind of upsetting we'll have, we'll have to update it don't worry brad we'll we'll, we'll fix it uh, it's good when you're already winning yeah it's good when you're already winning it's good to to like scale up it's it's a strong one for sure um i would say that uh can is it's probably like middle of strong it's very good it's 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 very strong it, well it's not very strong but it it, it is strong Let's grab ourselves a mammoth. I love me a mammoth. I think mammoth is a is the mighty strong unit. It is really really powerful. It slots in. And so here's the thing. It is it supports the best unit in the game really well. Like really really well. Um mammoth goes super well with rooster. Mammoth goes super well with dodo. Mammoth goes super well with Turkey because you mushroom it. Uh, you, you saw the the synergy last round. It was it was gorgeous. It's exactly the the sort of end game composition you want. Uh, Mammoth is very very strong and definitely better than the cow. And um, it it's helped a lot by mushroom. If it weren't for mushroom, it would be a little bit worse. But uh, yeah, it, it it also single handedly makes like whale more viable. Also, I would say. Sloth needs to be nerfed, really. Needs lower stats. 0.5.5. 5. 0, 1. <laughs> I don't know if I want to talk about Worm, because I don't I don't know enough about Worm. I hate Worm. I think Worm is bad. Here's the thing. You could scale any other unit, and you will have more stats on it by the end of the game. Even if you get this thing to 50-50... So the, here's the theory. Is that Worm sucks for two turns, and then outscales everything else. That's not what happens. Worm-Rabbit is the combo... You, you like feed it um you feed it pairs over and over i think this is a, a weak creature I, th I think it is maybe better than a cricket uh maybe better than a shark but it, it is a very it, it's it's not very strong uh, early worm is kind of nutty i've had early worm and i just hate it 
Like, it, it just doesn't scale fast enough for me, River. It's just really... It's like a giant money sink. Like, you, you would need, like, four other units that are self-sufficient, like a, a bison and a monkey and, uh, like a... I, I don't know, something that's already done, like a swan. And, or, and, and then you'd just be scaling the, the worm the whole time. But, like, I'd rather be searching for level ups than using food. The thing about food is that the majority of the time is food is dead. Food is very, very situational. You do not have the ability to constantly feed something. So it, it's not very good. And seeing as how I brought up Swan, let's talk about Swan. Swan gives you plus one, plus two, plus three gold per turn. That's assuming you're only running one. Uh, Multi-Swan uh, drifting is obviously pretty popular. And I think that Swan is probably one of the juiciest uh, units that you can get for the tier. It's a 3-4, which is really nice. Like, it's a nice body. And um, it's it's the kind of unit that you're willing to, like, hold on to the whole game. Who's strong, in your opinion, says, says River. Um, so here's the thing about Swan, is that it doesn't feel bad to play against. I feel like the animals in Too Strong feel bad to play against. If I go up against a swan, I'm not mad. I'm like, dude, nice swan. Nice swan, man. That's a, that's a good swan. Um, so swan is just... It, it's my favorite unit. Like, it, it is my favorite unit. I, I think Swan is really, really good. I don't think it's better than Dog, but I do think that it's super strong. It usually never lasts for endgame. I, I, I'll take it to, straight to endgame sometimes, Sand Observer. I just, I, I put my monkey on the, the Swan, and I'll just scale that puppy up all the way. Sometimes I'll pivot off, but I, I think Swan is just, like, gold. Gold, man. Gold is so OP. Swan is draw. Yeah, Swan is draw. Imagine having a draw engine that you don't have to, it doesn't do anything. You just sit it there. Swan needs a little investment to keep it for endgame, but I've done it multiple times. At Swan is like probably my most used unit, if I had to guess. Swan is definitely way up there for me. Um, let's talk about Dolphin. Dolphin's a bit of a weirdie. Dolphin hits uh, for 5 damage on the lowest damage target. 10 damage, then 15. 15 damage in endgame is not enough to kill most creatures. Uh, 5 damage in early game is enough to kill uh, only the weakest of creatures. But the weakest of creatures that need to be killed are oftentimes really important. Sometimes less important. Sometimes you hit a penguin, sometimes you hit a, a monkey, but sometimes you hit a turkey, and sometimes you hit a, 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 a scorpion. Uh, th this is for arena. It's, it's, a, it's fairly good. It is, uh, it is definitely better than crocodile. And I would probably take it over a pizza. I would definitely take it over a pizza if I were on a four squad and uh, looking for something. Um, I, I think it's below... No, I, I think it's just above Otter. I, I think it's a good unit. It, it can be a nice pivot, and it can have some staying power too, if you want it to. It's a decent tier four. It's in a very competitive... Uh, tier for sure, but I, I think that I'm I'm never too unhappy when I have a dolphin. It's it's okay. It's a solid unit, and it's definitely a lot better than Croc in my opinion. Okay, we're gonna do one more. I'm gonna pick Gorilla because it's a bit of a weird one. I haven't played too much with Gorilla, but I I have played a little bit. Coconut armor is really funny, um, and if you have like a 50/50 Gorilla, which you very rarely have, because it's not. If, if you're comparing a gorilla against a leopard in terms of scaling, then you're, you're... Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. What the hell are you doing putting time in on a gorilla? Gorilla in that tier 6 slot sucks a lot. I think it might be the worst tier 6 unit, now that I think about it. It is the worst tier 6 unit. By, like, a lot. I think it needs a buff. Yeah, I think it's it's probably pretty weak. Uh, it, it, the fact that it's it's taking slots up is a real problem. It, it's it's probably one of the only units that you don't want. I think it should be a tier four. I might agree, uh, River. That that might be a, a more fair placement for it. Uh, but yeah, the the, the gorilla, it, like theoretically, it trades two for one. That's the idea. But if you're a tier six unit, you're doing a lot more than tra trading two for one. You're, you're trading, like, three for one. You're trading 
four for one. Just like all sorts of crazy potential stats. Like the, the insane amount of stat value you get. So here's the thing. If coconut armor, like if, if you got, here's the thing. Level one gorilla, one use. Level two gorilla, two uses. Level three gorilla, three, three uses. But you still have to take damage for every single time. If you didn't have to take damage, if you just had to take a hit, then it might be good because then you get three hits, not three different occasions where you have to take damage. You can't, you can't take damage three times. There's no way you will get away with taking damage three times on a, a tier three gorilla. It'll never happen. Um, Rhino. Freaking Rhino. It doesn't scale well. It doesn't scale hard enough. It's a tier five unit. Um, I like Rhino a lot. If, if Rhino, when Rhino pops, it's incredible. But it's already too far behind by the time you get it. Uh, Rhino going up one tier there. <laughs> I disagree, Lamond. I disagree. I've had games where Rhino has, like, single-handedly absolutely slaughtered everyone, but I think pretty much every other unit could do it, too. Um, yeah, I think it's perfect average. It's a very fair unit. If you get ahead, it's great. If you are behind, it's pointless. Like, probably one of the worst units you could get. Um, so I, I think I'm going to put it at the top of average. I think I like it a little bit more than Crocodile, just because it does have, like, a good use case if you can get it cruising. Um, so that, that's where we'll keep right. Hey, stop playing with the cords. Get out of here. My cat's attacking my cords. Let's grab a crab. So crab is, uh, okay, kitty, kitty cat. You gotta stop. Hang on. I gotta, I gotta move my cat. She's, uh, she's trying to get on the tier list. <laughs> crab is strong. Yeah, crab is a good unit. As a, as far as single units go, um, it has a lot of power level to it. I think kangaroo is just a better crab. But obviously, it's a tier higher. One of the biggest problems I have with Crab is that um, you get no benefit out of leveling it up. And it's very much a dead unit. You don't get any bonus out of it like you do out of, like, a Swan, for example. Crab needs, like, very minimal investment. Basically, no investment. It's pretty dead. Anyway, as for Crab, um, Crab is a good unit. I like Crab. It is not better than a Kangaroo. But I would say that it's better than a Giraffe. I'll, I'll, I'll say it's right about here. But yeah, let's talk about Tiger. Tiger's a, one of those units that just, like, completely changes the game. I would say it's at the very top of very strong. Um, so here's the thing, is that it's only as strong as the units that are in the game. So it can never really be, like, overpowered, I would say. Unless it's copying an overpowered power. And pretty much only Rooster has that. Uh, I, I guess, like, a mushroom... Uh, mushroom high-level mammoth is really ridiculous too you can get an insane amount of stat bonus um this is a strong unit that can come at some wrong times uh but it can also just like win you the game outright so i think the very top of very strong is good so that that avoids any like nerfs like these ones probably need to be nerfed in some way actually i don't know if cat needs to be nerfed i think it's a good creature um but it's just ridiculous it's just super ridiculous when you stack them. The stacking effect is too strong. Right, let's go ahead and grab Fly. Fly is a weird one. Fly is a super weird unit. It can never be made, like, flawlessly efficient, uh, especially with the builds that really enjoy a Fly. For example, like a, a Mushroom Sheep or a Whale or a, a Rooster. Um, it's always going to be a little bit inefficient. I think that it struggles a lot to... Uh, really deliver, and it is completely useless without the support of a turkey. Um, it's it's a tough unit to to call. Like it, it is super strong when it's in its element. That's undeniable. It can straight up win you games. But uh, it, it's just really hard to to get going. I think um, I'd much rather have a tiger a every time, uh, other than like a other than that. So I, I'm gonna go ahead and put it like uh, below the crab. I think that sounds fair. Fly can counter rooster. You are correct, Sand Observer. Uh, I'm not saying that Fly isn't strong. Fly is definitely strong. But it's weak compared to some of the other six units. Um, and it also just... It, it has its whole host of problems, like I said. All right. Um, let's grab Camel. Camel is a bit of a weird one. I've, I've had a love-hate relationship with Camel. Um, Camel is kind of like reverse kangaroo 
And if you put a bunch of stats on it, it it's pretty nice. Like it, it can carry you into late game. But then you've got this unit that you've invested a bunch of stats in that is basically a 50-50 that doesn't do anything. Uh, but yeah, basically Camel, it's it's okay. It's it's very good early. It's It's got like a really strong mid-game spike, and then later on it kind of falls off. As long as you give it stats, it's pretty okay. Um, I would say that it is uh, like the definition of average. I'm going to put it in the dead center of average. Actually, I'm going to put it below the pig because um, I do think pig is pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, camel, it's it's pretty whatever. It, it's it's good early game. It's it's got the same spike as a as a kangaroo, I would say. Although kangaroo is definitely more consistent by a significant margin, and uh, is less investment as well. It, basically, the camel to the kangaroo is the uh, the bison to the the monkey, which is how you should think of that, or at least how I'm kind of thinking of it right now. Um, speaking of Hippo, seeing as how we've talked about it a couple times, uh, this unit has a strong mid-game spike, uh, if you get some stats on it. I think that Dog just beats it. Um, it, it, it can't two for one. The ideal is that it, it just kills a whole team by itself and eats it. Hungry Hippo style. River, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I've been enjoying the streams so far. Um, I think in a duck-laden meta... The hippo is significantly worse. Um, but pre-duck, it was fine. Uh, now it is much, much worse. Um, I when I see a hippo, I am not very happy. I think it, it it's possibly worse than a bison. But yeah, hippo, not a fan. Not a fan of hippo. I think it is worse than bison. It is a weak unit. Um, let's let's talk about the whale. Whale is a, a very techy creature. It does a lot of really interesting things. Um, it, it's got a couple of super specific combos. Uh, so yeah, if, if we're talking like hip or uh, whale combos, uh, whale loves to eat spider, whale eat, loves to eat sheep, whale loves to eat uh, like a, a mammoth. And if you mushroom the mammoth, it's even better. Uh, whale doesn't mind eating a, a rooster that's unscaled. Whale likes eating a... Um, like a deer, and deer is like a pretty interesting unit. Yeah, the deer, deer mammoth is like, or sorry, deer, uh, whale, tiger is like a really nice combo, like very, very strong. Um, so I, I like whale a decent amount, but I do think that it's kind of hard to slot in. Uh, the biggest problem with a whale is that you are scaling four units only. You cannot scale that fifth unit or you're wasting stats, um, which is a big problem because. A lot of teams are scaling all five units and getting away with it. So it, it's kind of a rough spot. I think it is a strong unit, um, but I, I think it is the very bottom of strong. It, it is strong, but it is the sort of unit that you have to hard commit to, and it, it's a weird one for sure. Being a high health unit has strong value mid-game for crab strats. That's true, Gopuri. Um, I, I think it's, it's, it's pretty good. Level three turtle. I mean, level three turtle is wasted, right? My problem with whale is it's super good mid game, but uh, whale comps are so different from good late game comps, it's hard to transition. You can make a good late game comp with whale. It's just that in like the mid late game, right before you get into here, tier six and you get your first mammoth, it's really strugglesome. Like it's it's rough uh, because your only good eat is a uh, is a deer, right? And like that that's not giving the rest of your team stats. You could maybe go with like a a, a turtle or um, a, a pink bird. The pink bird, you, you could go with either one of those. How, why do I not remember the name of Flamingo? It's just a Flamingo. Every time I look at it, I forget what it's called. <laughs> it's so funny. Let's talk about Meat on the Bone. Back before the meta shift with the extra HP, Meat on the Bone was actually like a sleeper, really good one. Um, th Thank you, Sand Observer. That means a lot coming from you. Um, so here's the, here's the thing about Meat on the Bone. It beats garlic armor, which is kind of sweet, and it shows up a turn earlier, or a, a tier earlier, rather. Um, and you generally just put it on a unit that you're not looking to scale too much. It's kind of okay. Like, it's it's pretty good. We are doing a, a tier list, J, J Money. That is the case. Um, it, it's missing, like, a couple of things, but it's, it's fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out when we get there. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I think it's a strong food. And uh, for three, for three gold, it's a very good deal. Yeah, it gets you early wins. I think it has fallen off a bunch 
and gets skipped over a lot because of the the meta shift like if we're if we're talking like duck strats i, th I think uh that it's it's got its place i will put it at the i'll, I'll put it right behind crab I, th I think the fly is better than me i, th I think that the the giraffe I'm, I'm gonna put it like right in front of pizza that seems good i i like giraffe still it's way better than otter i disagree otter is crazy anyway let's grab a uh a flamingo flamingo is interesting pink bird it's pink bird time chrysla <laughs> Th thank you so the pink bird it's like a baby mammoth. Plus one, plus one to the units behind. Plus two, plus two, plus three, plus three. It's nice with the whale. It's a, it's a good pill target. It's got some basic synergies. It's like a... It's a fine level two unit. It it gums up the duck meta a bit, which definitely drops it down a little bit. Uh, Flamingo is meh. I've used uh, it for controlled pill buffs. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fine. I, I think it is average. It is definitely better than ant by like a decent amount. Um, I think it's better than fish. It's better than camel. It's probably not better than pig. I think the pig is really strong. I, I think that putting it in like the middle of average is, is quite fair. All right, let's talk about pear. This is probably one of my favorite fruits uh, or one of my favorite uh, grabs in the game in terms of like just it's nice to have targeted power gain. And it starts showing up around this. So the biggest problem with pear is it shows up at the same time as uh, monkey and rooster and um, like a lot of really strong tier four units. So uh, rolling past them is really common because you want to pick up those tier fours as soon as they show up. That is when they are most common, right? So you, you depending on how hard you're focusing on getting those level four units, uh, monkey is, is a pair every turn. Uh, in other news, cat is huge if you uh, get it early. I mean, cat's always huge. Cat's crazy. That's why it's up here. <laughs> Too strong. Uh, but yeah, I like pair a lot. Targeted buffing is really strong. And um, I think putting it, like, right behind garlic. Maybe right behind... Um, I, I think this is a pretty pair place for it and strong. Pair is strong. A lot of the times I'd rather roll past a pair, but sometimes if I don't know what I'm going to get, just pop a pair. You're happy. You know, get plus two, plus two. It's it's solid. Can't go wrong. Let's go ahead and finish talking about the shrimp. Shrimp, he's, he's got a buy-sell meta. It's really good with the dog. Um, very trash with everything else. Health, not very good. Um, I think it's okay. I, I think that it is maybe only better than the fish probably not better than the camel it, it's okay there, there's a couple yeah, situations yeah, yeah, where it's all yeah, right yeah. agus shaker thank you uh for the follow welcome on into the armada I, I think with its very niche use it's on average sand observer it might be pretty weak you, i could see it being in either one of these all right let's talk about uh deer deer is a fun unit i have been having a lot of fun with this unit i think it's like pretty cool it doesn't scale super well but it bullies people hard. It's all right. It's all right. I like deer a lot. I think it's fun with whale. I think that it scales up well. Um, it, it's not like super end game, but it can kind of bully some mid game builds. Every time I take it, I just assume that it's going to do nothing. And then it surprises me. I, I think it's it's like an, it, it is a fun animal. Keep in mind that it is in tier four, which means that like every time you get a deer, you're not getting a monkey. And when you think about it that way, you're like a little bit sad. But monkey's way up here, so, like, of course you want a monkey. Um, we're, we're gonna throw it in, like, the middle of average. I, th I think that it's it's probably, like, right behind the chili pepper. They're, they're very similar in their, their values. Um, let's talk about seal. Seal's a tier 5. We've, we've talked a lot about how tier 5 is uh, relatively weak. Um, seal is contributing to that weakness. Seal is a 3-6 that uh, gives plus 1, plus 1 to units when it eats food. That's not that bad. But then again, like, salad is weak. So, like, randomly placed stat bonuses are not very good. Uh, this is probably one of the best chocolate targets in the game, though. Like, I won't deny that. If you just shove chocolate down the seal's mouth, um, you're going to have, like, a lot of stats coming out. But that's in a dream world where you only find chocolate. Uh, yeah, you do want to focus stats on one unit. 
but you're focusing stats onto the 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 seal. That's the point. Is that you're kind of doing both at the same time. It gives you a unit to focus on. So it could be an interesting unit for like mid game, especially when you've got like pairs as your primary food. I, I think that seal is maybe less explored than it should be. Um I'm gonna give I'm gonna place the sale seal a little bit higher than what most people's opinions would be just because I think that it might be um, all right. And uh, we will put it at the very top of average, uh, which is, like I said, maybe a little bit on the high side. But keep in mind, it's a tier five unit. It, um, food meta is like weird. I, I'm not a fan of food meta, but um, it, it could be good. Peacock. Let's talk about Peacock. Peacock is uh, plus two, plus two on hurt, plus, or sorry, no, not plus two, plus two, plus two on hurt, plus four on hurt, and plus six on hurt, or is it plus eight on hurt? It doesn't matter. I've never had a tier three Peacock, and I wouldn't get it if I could. I wonder why they did tier T5 so bad. I think they're just meant to be, like, specific counter animals, or, like, build tie-up animals, but it's just that we've outscaled the game. I think that they're great if you get them at like the base level um, and, and they have more stats than your tier 4 units but that's not how it works anymore people are way too good at this game um, if people were bad at this game tier 5 animals would be fine but people are good at this game peacock, peacock is a noob trap every new player plays elephant peacock and thinks he beat the game yet yeah. elephant peacock is a joke um, peacock is, is just a very bad unit um, it's got like decent base stats that's the one thing it has going for it. I think it is pretty weak, but it does have decent base stats. So I'll put it at the bottom of pretty weak. Or at the, sorry, at the very top of pretty weak. Um, so Elephant. Elephant is the only animal in the entire game that you could say actively gets worse as you level it up. Uh, it's got really strong base stats for a tier 2 unit, uh, but it comes at a drawback. It's the sort of unit that they wanted to synergize with um, Blowfish and Camel and peacock but that doesn't work very well because in the early game it's okay it's kind of like a, a convoluted kangaroo where you you can have that big beat stick in the front uh and then like have the scaling going but like there's just so many moving pieces for that build it's a meme it's a meme it's not very good um i i think that the elephant ne either needs more synergies to make it good or it needs some sort of change. Indeed, Nathan. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in uh, the... We're gonna put it above Gorilla, but below Beaver. The only reason it is very low and pretty weak is because it is a good base stat unit. And also, I, I think that I, I gave a little bit too much benefit of the doubt to Peacock. I think that the Peacock is significantly worse than Dude, Hippo's gotta go down. I'm sorry. Hippo's not good. <laughs> it's just not good. Cupcake. Plus three, plus three for the turn. It's a tier two food. Early game wins matter less now than ever. Um, it, you could say, oh, it's good with cat. You're kind of right. I, I think it's very... It, it might be good on your very last turn. If you're about to win, it's good. I don't hate it then. But th this is, like, real bad. <laughs> I don't think it's Apple bad. It at least has some impact. I think I'll put it just above the... Ju just below the squirrel. It's better than a horse. It's better than an apple. But it's so often a dead roll. It's a very dead roll. It's very weak. Okay, let's talk about Snake. We'll talk about a good unit. Snake is interesting. With Leopard in the game, I think that Snake becomes significantly worse. But the beauty of Snake is that um, it actually beats those teams that Leopard can't beat. If you're going into, like, a, a chick build, it beats it beats Rooster, which is amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, the, I can't say much more than that. The, the, one of the biggest problems with Snake is that it only gets a couple attacks off at best a lot of the time, which is a real problem, and I think its consistency is hurt a lot by that. Um, I, th I think that it's probably best behind a whale. Like, if you have Tiger Whale, 
or t tiger snake whale uh deer or something like that that's probably your best bet for getting maximum value out of uh, a snake um but it's prone to being sniped it has not enough damage unless you level it up it's it's got a lot of problems i, I think that it's a strong it's still a strong unit it's a tier six and it scales well into late game and it it, sh it i wish it showed up earlier frankly it would be really good early. I, I think bottom of very strong is fair. Nathan says, laugh my fucking ass off. Uh, last time I played, I tried worm strats and feeding apples. No wonder I sucked. <laughs> oh no, no. He's, he's just feeding. He's feeding the bottom tier or the second bottom tier with the bottom tier over and over. And it's just like, why isn't this working? I don't understand. Worms love apples. Uh, let's talk about sheep really quick. I like sheep a lot. Um, and by I like sheep a lot, I mean I like the idea of sheep, and I never actually play sheep. I think this is, like, a, a pretty good... Uh, if if we pretended Rooster wasn't in the game for a minute, I think this is maybe one of the best uh, summoner units in the game. It combos really well with uh, Turkey, and it combos really well with Fly, and it's great with a Mushroom... But Rooster exists, and it spawns three, like, 50-whatevers, like, 53s or whatever. Like, it's just so broken. Three, three units versus two units. And I, I guess you could say this is a tier three, but it being, like, an early game unit doesn't do it any favors. Um, it's okay for scaling the dog and the bison, and uh, it works well with the horse, but horse is shit, so who cares? Um, uh, sheep is for mid-game uh, with early turkey. Yeah, I guess that that's pretty... It's a decent read. I think the sheep's a little bit inefficient, but I think that it, it does have... Um, it's, got, it's got its place in the meta. It's not bad. I think it's slightly worse than deer. I don't think too many people will disagree with that. The, the deer is a little bit better. Parrot was really better before, or like a lot better before they patched it. I don't know why they nerfed it. Um, it's really, really hard to get a Parrot build working. I, I think the only thing the Parrot works well with is Dodo, which is thankfully a high tier unit. I guess it works all right if it's canned up, then you can get another Rooster on the board. Um, it, it just steals whatever ability is in front of the, the previous, or in front of the next unit. So, um... If I've got a rooster in the front, it'll steal that rooster's ability at tier one. You can get uh, you can get some tier six units abilities early that way by getting a, a a maxed out bird, and I haven't messed around with that, frankly. Um, I think that would be interesting with, I mean, who who would that combo well with? I mean, it's it's nice with turkey, which is a tier five, but like, and you've got a tier five, you can just grab turkey. Why not just get turkey forehead? P2 Dodo uh, can be maxed by 7th round, and uh, Parrot doesn't help. That's true. Like, it's... it's. I think it was probably better with the old Dodo. Man, old Dodo was even better than we thought. Like, holy moly, old Dodo is insane. I think it's weak. I, th I think it is weak. We're, we're gonna go ahead and... Uh, we'll put it in between... Uh, bison and beaver. I think that it's got some pretty interesting potential, but I, I think that it needs some work. Oh, we haven't talked about honey. Honey's kind of funny. Um, honey is it? No, I'm not gonna go into the ad. <laughs> I'm just I'm just kidding. Not sponsored. But if you want to sponsor, maybe consider it. <laughs> um, honey drops a one one B badger B. I mean, can I say anything more? Do I need to say anything more? Badger, I think, like, this is pretty good. It's It's got one insanely good synergy. It just kind of wins you rounds. Sometimes it's not just early rounds either. I think as far as early food goes, it's, like, pretty nice. It's kind of a dead draw later. It's all right. It's not bad. Yeah, it is okay with horse, too. But, I mean, you know how I feel about horse. It's, um... I'm gonna put it, like gear behind the sheep. No, I'll put it in front of sheep. I think honey's pretty nice. I like honey. You would put uh, shrimp above. It goes along well with duck and dog. You, you think because of um, the power level of duck and dog, it deserves a higher spot, Fengar? Um, 
Where do, where do I have shrimp? shrimp? Shrimp is an average. You think it should go up to strong? I would say that you might be right. I, I think it is probably stronger than these units. Uh, Rat is a techie unit. You can use it to anti um, zoo builds, but I've literally never made it work. I've had it work one time against me ever, and they still lost. It's a 4-5 in the early game, which is the biggest body you could possibly get. Um, you know, <laughs> it's it's alright. Uh, I've also had many, many rounds where I just win because of a dirty rat on my team. And I feel like the rat just doesn't work right. Like, it, it doesn't even attack if it's not, like, a one versus one. How are you supposed to win? Like, there, there, there was, like, a single situation in which the Betrayer Dirty Rat doesn't lose you the round. I think this is, this goes, like, maybe here. I, I could consider putting it into weak, but I can't deny that it does have good stats. Bunny! Bunny's kind of cool. High stats, uh... Too late to ma too late to matter. Yeah, I guess. Uh... The amount of time I had a rat spawn in the enemy into a, a horse team fuck rat IMO. Yeah, the rat is rat is a meme. Rat is a meme. Give uh, an, a, effectively a B to an enemy. Yeah. Uh, anyway, bunny rabbit food meta is not very good. Uh, salad is like its best combo tool, other than maybe garlic. Um, I've used it a couple times. It gives you some HP. I think it's pretty weak. I think it's definitely pretty weak. But I've also used it, like, a decent amount. I, th I think for a unit that's not very good, I've used it a fair bit. And I will put it at the bottom of average. I think that's not too unfair to it. Um, it, it despite it being a weak animal, it is a very usable one. Pufferfish. Rat loses me so many games, you gotta stop taking it then, J-Money. Alright, so Pufferfish. This unit, during Hurt Meta, was probably extremely exciting and super fun but hurt meta is gone hurt meta was when garlic would reduce damage down to zero but it would still tank it take a hit uh watermelon armor when you you popped watermelon armor it would still count as a hit you'd activate your your ability uh, that made puffer fish a lot better no neither of those things are still in the game um puffer fish now needs to actually take damage to activate its effect um I've had this ability fail for me literal countless times. It hurts real bad. I'm not a fan. Um, I do think that this unit is quite strong early. It's got a decent mid game and uh, it can bully out some teams. So it, it definitely has its place in the meta. Um, I, I think it's above deer, but maybe below shrimp. It's okay. Uh, wait, let me... I'll get, I'll get you a full screenshot. Don't worry. We're gonna pretend this coconut is watermelon. Alright. And we're just gonna curse... Uh, Ricano Tank. Dang it, Ricano Tank. Why, why did you not... How do you forget melon armor? <laughs> I'm pissed. Alright, so pretend this coconut is melon armor. That is uh, 20 damage uh, reduction on hit. Uh, one time pretty good you can get it early through turtle um i mean it basically just gives you a full extra attack minimum the only counter is like a scorpion it's it's super good uh it's not tiger good and it's probably not m ma mammoth good either but it is very very good too strong i don't think it's too strong i think it's fine in in terms of like ecosystem it's definitely not too strong but it is good uh, I don't- I don't think the foods- the foods always go down a little bit. Forgetting melon and chocolate. Yeah, imagine forgetting the two most important items in the game, Lamau. <laughs> Just <laughs> disgusting. Penguin is super funny. I've had some really interesting games with penguins recently, where I had, like, all tier 2 units, and then I got a penguin. And then I got another penguin. And I got them both to tier 2. And then they just started scaling the shit out of each other. And it was really funny. I had, like, a very beefy team. I think for Arena, Penguin's great. Um, if we're talking versus, I don't think it's fast enough. But I, I think that, like, if you sit on a Penguin and you've got all Tier 2... Like, if your whole squad is Tier 2 and you have a Penguin, you just kind of win. 
Um, I mean, Dylan sent me that picture the other day, whereas he had like a freaking mosquito and an ant and uh, like a fish. And they were all just tier two and they were like around 20 or 30 power level. And he just won because he got a penguin. And I'm like, this is the worst team I've ever seen. <laughs> it's, it, like that. But he won. So like, as far as Arena is concerned, I think Penguin is really good. It's a no-brainer. Um, I will put it at the top of strong tier. Um, even above Badger, because it's it's just easy. It's an easy unit. As far as Arena goes, it's really strong. I, th I think if we're talking about a versus setting, then it's probably going down to, uh, like, around here. Anyway, we, we got uh, two units left. We got the, the Hedgehog. Hedgehog is, like, worst Badger in a lot of cases. It, for, during Hurt Meta, or, like, if people wanted to do Hurt Meta, where it's like, oh, here's a, a Hedgehog whale uh blowfish is behind like three blowfishes and, and you just go absolutely ham on it and you got all the this this damage just raining down on the enemy and they're getting blown the hell up if there was anything that would hard counter it it's duck meta and we are deep in the duck meta right now that's where we're at we we gotta acknowledge that um the hedgehog is is hurt it, it has been hurting for a long time, in my opinion, but it, it's it's very weak. Um, how weak is it? Keep in mind, Hedgehog can trigger a enemy camel, blowfish, peacock. Exactly, Sand Observer. It, it, it is as bad for you as it is for them. It, it the, the way to make this thing work is not use it. Let the enemy use it. Th this is the thing that you want to see on your opponent's team. Um, we're going to go ahead and... Put it below Worm, and Salad, and Cricket. It's above Shark, because I'm not really a big fan. <laughs> not a fan of the Shark. So we got the Spider. This is our last... You know, let's talk about Sushi next. Sushi is a turn 5, which means it's crowded by Chocolate and... Um, what's the other really good one? Chocolate and Chili. Chocolate is, like, the best food in the game, probably. Yeah, chocolate is probably the best food. Tiger Skunk is great. Tiger Skunk is super fun. That that was like one of my first like big meta things that I came up with. I'm like, this this is OP. This smashes so many compositions. It beats crab really well. I need to use Tiger more. Tiger is incredible. Tiger's a great unit. Um so yeah, sushi. It's good with cat. Um it's just like a decent plank at scaling, but I'm really not that much of a fan. Turn 5, you're probably focused on other things. I think that it's really below average for um, it, it's, its tier. How long have you all been playing? I've been playing for 100 hours. And uh, several weeks. Maybe months at this point. I, I was a super early adopter of Auto Pets. Very good game. Very good game. I'm going to put it uh, right behind Chili Pepper. I think that Chili Pepper has a couple more uses, but I do think that sushi is very takeable. It's fine. It's a fine food. It's just not my favorite. All right. So we've got chocolate, which is the made with peanuts. So we're, we're going to say that this is the, the chocolate, okay? That, that Everybody okay on that? Seems good. Okay. So chocolate is busted. It gets you tier sixes leveled up before you can even get to tier 6 sometimes, which is insane. Uh, it, it can snowball you insanely hard. If you're doing all right, it just makes you do insane. If you're doing not very good, it can save you. Um, it, chocolate is incredible. Chocolate is very, very good. I don't think it's too strong, but I do think that it is exceedingly good. Um... I, I want to put it up here because it is super duper good. I will put it up here. I think it, I think it's better than duck. I like it. I like it a lot. This one might be a little bit weird. I don't think it should be nerfed. Here's the thing about too strong is I, I think that like some of these maybe should be nerfed and other ones should not. Like I think cat is fine. I think cat's a lot of fun. It's just like if you Omega brain it, it's really broken. Um, Rooster is probably overpowered. Monkey's probably a little bit overpowered. Duck need, is, is super problematic for the meta. Um, 
But yeah, chocolate's really nice. You just get lots of level ups. It, it, imagine getting the exact animal you want whenever you want. Anyway, we got Spider. This is our last unit. It's the gotcha unit. It, it can be great. It can be absolute shit. And it's total RNG. Um, sometimes I love it. Sometimes I hate it. It does not scale well into late game. It is significantly worse than deer. It's significantly worse than sheep, except when it spawns a sheep. And then fuck you, spider. Why'd you spawn a sheep this time on the opponent's side? And you just spawned me a snail. God damn it. <laughs> spider is so stupid. So the chances that it spawns something that you want are... Depending on what you want, it's it's low. Uh, or it's high. I don't know. Like, they, they, What are there? There's sheep... Kangaroo, bison, turtle. Those are all great spawns. And by bison, I meant ox. Um, if, if you spawn them in the middle, that's really, really good. Uh, if you spawn some of those in the front, it's significantly less good. It's good for when you're transitioning to turtle. Yeah, I think I think that spider is fine. Um, it it can kind of go crazy sometimes. I, I like it well enough. I think it's the. It's it's better than sheep. It's better than honey, but it's worse than deer. All right. So this is our tier list. Um, obviously, it's it's missing watermelon and chocolate, but this is chocolate and this is watermelon. These are my thoughts. So, some of it's probably misplaced. Tiger could go up. Um, beaver could go up. A couple things could maybe go down. I'm I'm happy with it overall. I, th I think there's a couple things that could move around, but overall, it's it's pretty good. All right. Well, as you might have noticed by the tail end of this video, I did miss a couple animals as well as uh, a food or two. I think just one food. Uh, so we're gonna go over those right now. Um, as it turns out, it happens. You know, there, there's there's a lot of animals, and uh, it's really hard to find a complete list everywhere. So I went and compiled one myself. And uh, I'm using a, a little art program here, so that way I've got my tier list in its order. Everything is there. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to look at these final three little things that I missed here. So I missed the steak, the sloth, and the skunk. Skunk is, like, my actual flagship unit. It's probably what got me a lot of my first wins in this video game of Super Auto Pets. I really, really enjoyed. So let's talk about the skunk first. Uh, the skunk basically beats out scaling teams really, really hard. Um, and it pairs really well with the rooster. It, it It's a very nice unit to slot into late game because minus 33% life is a pretty significant deal. If you get it down to minus 66% at level 2, um, it, it's pretty much the same thing as minus 100%, 100% at level 3 in a lot of cases because your units are already so high-powered. Um, this unit does have a little bit of anti-synergy with Dodo, which means that you know, it's it's not a 100% pick all the time, because uh, obviously if you've already got like 50 attack, it's significantly less impressive. Uh, when it says it removes 100% of the life of a unit, then that means that it actually only brings it down to one. So you still need to do a finishing blow, which means there are times it's not very good. However, this unit combos incredibly well with Tiger. Uh, having multiple on the board is really, really strong. And, uh, you know, as a 3-5 body, it's it's quite acceptable. It uh, outshines quite a few units. It shows up in that really competitive tier 4, which does mean that it struggles a little bit. But um, I personally am a huge fan of the skunk, and I think it deserves to be, at very least, um, high, very strong. I, I would put it just behind the leopard in power level, maybe. Hmm, I, I gotta think about this a little bit. Because uh, Leopard requires a lot of scaling, and in its ideal form, it's obviously one of the strongest units in the entire game. Uh, Skunk is one of these units where you can just slot it onto any team, and you're going to be really happy with it. Until you run into, like, a zoo, and then it's it's a little bit less optimal in that scenario, admittedly. But um, it's, it's still quite powerful. Uh, removing HP is huge, and it can basically just snipe you an extra kill that you wouldn't normally have. Um, let's see... I definitely don't think it's as strong as, as the dog. I think the swan's effect is is really, really potent. Um, is it as potent as the skunk? There's been many a time where I've sacrificed the swan specifically to get a skunk on the board, although I do think that the meta has moved away from the skunk a lot. 
Um, even if there is a ton of huge body units right now, generally you're trying to get your units to be as huge as possible too. And uh, if, if you've got anything that's doing like 50 damage, then the skunk's value uh, value is dropped significantly. So I, I will put it uh, just in behind the leopard here. Um, obviously I can't like sneak it in the, the beautiful way uh, with the other tier list setup, but uh, that, there you go. In, in, uh, behind leopard in front of dragon. Um, and then we've got the stake here. Stake is a one-time effect, 20 bonus damage. It's a tier six food. We've talked about uh, these high tier foods a little bit. Um, anything that's competing with melon and mushroom for space is going to be problematic. And uh, I, I'm not a fan of the steak. All right, so I did just go and double check. Steak is somehow a tier six. Um, so, so think about it this way. Melon, it gives you an extra 20 life, while steak gives you an extra 20 damage. They're both one-time use. Uh, these are not equal though. Uh, if, if you have a 50-50 unit that attacks another 50-50 unit, and one one has melon armor versus one having steak, it, it's, it's an equal trade in that scenario. However, uh, this melon, like j just getting to attack more times is incredibly valuable. It is, uh, it can't be understated. This is great on like a couple of weaker units, but generally you're looking for something more powerful. If you're going to have like a weak unit to pivot on the board, it's going to be something like a scorpion that doesn't need the extra attack bonus, right? Um, I, I think the stake is pretty bad overall and uh, definitely is not terribly helpful. Um, I, it, it, it obviously does have a certain level of merit, but the, the chances that you run into something that you don't want to, there, there's so many different ways it goes wrong. I, I think that it's maybe average at best. I'll put it uh, just just in front of the... It, it should definitely be in front of most of these units. I, I think that it's it's probably a high average. Um, it, you could make some arguments to throw it up into strong potentially, but it's it's definitely not my my favorite uh, unit. My my favorite way to spend three gold. There's a lot of better uses, but uh, you know it, it it's okay considering that it is licking right. All right. And then we've got one last unit in free-to-play. This is one that uh, a lot of you may not have seen before yet. It is the Sloth. He is a tier 1, 1-1, one, one, incredibly rare, and believes in you. That's pretty nice. Pretty good unit. Um, Obviously, the stats are really not what this is about. This is about... Uh, you know, like mental health and your, your your general power level in the the game. If you've got someone believing in you in the the whole time, I think you can do anything. Uh, I don't think he's too strong, but I definitely think he's very strong. He's he's a he's a solid unit. But in in reality, you're gonna lose if you pick slot. But I am gonna leave because he's he's great. <laughs> he's he's great. Look at him. Look at him. He's perfect. All right. Um, well, I, th I think that's the, the tier list. You, you get the idea. It's, it's, it's super auto pets. It's an easy game until you realize that it's filled with, uh, sweaty tryhards who have over 100 hours, like myself. And, uh, yeah, if, if you follow this tier, tier list approximately, you'll get some wins. If, if you go after these high tier units as often as you can, and if you avoid these lower tier units, I, th I think everything, uh, weak and below... This is the stuff that is borderline unusable. Everything up here, go for it. I mean, any meta can be forced to work. I've seen people win with ants, uh, or sorry, with worms. I've seen people win with, uh, like, picking up salads. It, it all works. It's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful game. I think duck meta is too strong, but I would expect this all to be subject to change. Uh, right now, scaling is super duper strong. I could see in the future that um, summoning becomes more powerful again. And, uh, you know, I'm sure we'll get more animal groupings in the future. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure you hit subscribe. Uh, leave some comments. I, I don't really say this too often, but it, this sort of thing really does help the channel grow. Thank you and have a lovely day. Uh, peace out.